So rejoice, there's something awesome which is going to happen in the year 2020. Amen. And one verse comes to my mind in 2020 in advance. This is not a promised verse, but I just want to tell you in 2 Chronicles chapter 2020. Okay, 2 Chronicles 2020 is awesome. It says, So they rose in the morning and went out in the wilderness of Dekoi. And they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Jehuda. And you inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. And believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Second Chronicles 2020 says, believe in the Lord, you shall be established. And believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. You shall prosper. So it's a year of establishment and it's a year of prosperity. Amen. Joshua chapter 3. The promise. Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. It's read, written before us. Joshua said to the people, sanctify yourself. Sanctify yourselves for tomorrow. The Lord will do wonders among you. Amen. Let's read it as like this. Sanctify yourself for 2020. Sanctify yourselves for 20, 2020. 20. The Lord will do wonders among you. The Lord will do wonders among you. Read it out that way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sanctify yourself for 2020. The Lord will do wonders. Wonders among you. Amen. You know this passage which uh, Joshua Said, said to the people, Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. This is 5. In verse 6, which I have not put it before you on the screen. Then Joshua spoke to the priest, said, Take up the ark of the covenant and cross over. Amen. Cross over. This is Joshua 3 verse 5. 3 verse 6 says, Take up the ark of the covenant and cross over. Amen. Because the challenges, the difficulties, the trying times in 2020 cannot touch the church of God. Amen. Cannot. Because remember, every year there is a challenge. Every year there is a trial. Every year there are, there are so many calamities happening. <laughs> Jesus said these are a uh, beginning of signs. You shall hear of wars, rumors of wars. You shall hear earthquakes, tsunamis, and so on. Roaring of the sea. You know, even in the prophetical word, it says roaring of the sea. What is that roaring of the seas? Tsunami. It's inside. <laughs> it's written in Luke 21. Roaring of the seas. All these things will come. Trying times will come. But the church will stand strong. Amen. Amen. And I'm preparing and giving you a prelude of what is going to be delivered on the 1st of January as the promise was for his church. Amen. Amen. Joshua is talking to a generation which is called the children of Israel who are about and all set to enter the land of Canaan. The land flowing with milk and honey. Amen. Flowing with honey. So they were set to possess what God had already given. Amen. God had already given. If you look at Joshua chapter 1, he says so awesomely here. He says in verse 3, Joshua chapter 1 verse 3, Every place the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given you. Will tread upon his future. I have given you is the past. Hallelujah. I have given you. God has already given us. Every place a sole of your foot will tread. Will tread. I have already given it to you. For us, it may be future. For him, it's already done. For us, in is future. For him in eternity is already done. Eternity is something coming out of time. Amen. You know, if you come out of time, 
just a thought. If you come out of time, even for, uh, say, a one year, if you come out of time and enter into time one year later, you will find all your contemporaries grown older than you, and you will still be young. That's the power of eternity. You stop aging. God has given that power to the church Amen. to stop aging. Amen. You will return to the days of your youthfulness. It takes just believe. That's what it says. Believe in the Lord. You shall be established. Believe in his prophets who bring the prophetical word and you shall prosper. Amen. Believe the prophet. Believe God. You will be established and you will prosper. So Joshua here is talking to his people, sanctify yourself. Now you're about to enter into the land, enter into 2020. You're going to see a land, see a year full of abundance one side and full of calamities on the other side. And God will adorn you. God will bestow upon you. God will anoint you to bring the word and the solution through his wisdom called Bina to this generation. And the church is anointed to bring forth that wisdom to the world. Hallelujah. So as Joshua is saying, sanctify yourself. What does it mean? Sanctify yourself. So what is sanctification or sanctify? It means, shall we say, it means to set you aside, set you apart. Amen. To set your mind clearly focused to receive from God. What is sanctify? To set your mind to focus to receive from God. What is sanctify? Sanctify means set yourself to be used by Holy Ghost. You are set apart. Set yourself. You make yourself available to the Holy Ghost. Available to the tides that comes against the Holy Ghost who takes you. You know how they, they, they ski over the, the, the sea, you know? The surfing there. The Holy Ghost enables you to surf. So the Lord is telling you, I'm putting that anointing now, today. The tides are about to come, but the church will reign supreme. Amen. Set yourself for that. To sanctify yourself. Set yourself apart for that. Because tomorrow, miracles happen at the time of calamity. Light shines best in darkness. Amen. So it is not a scenario of all light. It is a scenario of complete darkness where light shines. It's a scenario of confusion where wisdom of God manifests. I'm just giving you a prelude for 2020. What's going to happen? Amen. So the Lord God said, sanctify yourself. Let go your past. Say, let go your past. Amen. Let go your past. You see, when you live in your future, it is called what? Before your screen. When you live in your future, it's called fantasy. If you live in the future, it's called fantasy. If you live in the past, stagnancy. And you know stagnant water stinks. If you live in the future, it is fantasy. You know fantasizing. Something which is not there, you want you know, living there. It's fantasizing. Building castles in the air. That's living in the future is fantasy. Living in the past is stagnancy. Gutter. And but, but then living in the present by letting go your past, holding on firm to what God has promised is his mercy. Amen. Amen. Say praise Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. You know, I am almost done with my message. After that, this is what he says. Uh, a series will come later. This is my message. Now it is his message which will come. The next two slides will be his message. I'll not go there. But I want to focus on your past for a minute. Because the Lord said that some or many here are carrying
ailments and hurts of the past. And you have to deliberately let go your past. Amen. Amen. Whatever happened in the past 2019, maybe you began, even in this church, you would have expected so many things to happen and it would have not flourished or it would have not happened the way you thought, the way you expected. The Lord God says, let go. That disappointment that is eating you, it is there. Let go. Don't hold it up. Amen. Amen. I think Sam, if you Sam and Solomon, if you can kindly come, you see, quickly, please. I just demonstrated what is letting go the past and holding on to the future. So, this is my. Let us say he's my past because he's he holds me tight. He's very soft. He's my future, gentle, right, right. So when I look at the past, what does he know? You know what does he do? The past holds me like this. I said, please, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. You can't go unless the past lets you go. And you let go your past. You can't go in the future. Your mind is still in the past. Your feelings are still in the past. Your will is also, you know, you delight in taking some time. You know, it is pity party. And you know, this person past called, you know, he doesn't want to leave me. And he's holding me. I want to go to my future. I'm thinking like this, trying to go. And he's holding me firm. That's exactly our scenario. We want to go Maybe we may enter physically in 2020, but the mind is still in Egypt. The past. That's why Joshua said, hey guys, stop worrying. Stop thinking about what happened to our fathers in the wilderness. We had a very bad experience. We had a very uh, gruesome slavery experience in Egypt. We had so many deaths happening in wilderness. We almost became a mockery of the world. Joshua said, set apart. Let go of the past. If you want to enter both spiritually, mentally, emotionally, in prosperity, not just physically, let go your past. Say praise Jesus. But I want to tell you that it is not easy to let go. And Joseph gives us an insight how he let go his past. How he let go his hurts. How he let go the disappointments that he encountered in his life when he was still a young lad. From 17 to 30, it's a prime time for every youth. He spent most of the time in jail. Between 70 and 30. It's a time when men are blossoming. And suddenly you see yourself far behind your contemporaries. You look behind. You have crossed a particular age. And you look behind to see. All, you all, all of you studied your contemporary, your friends, your colleagues, your, uh, the prayer groups, those who were there, they all started at the age of 70. And today they are somewhere far ahead. And you look back and you, you feel sad what you went through. You feel disappointed. You say, Lord, it is not fair. You didn't do good to me. I deserve a better treatment, Lord. The Lord God says, don't worry. Just let go. Something awesome is happening from the very first day of 2020. Amen. Say praise Jesus. And Joseph gives us an insight in Genesis 41 verse 3. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For the God made me to forget all my toils. And all my father's house. 
God made me to forget. You know, sometimes we say, I will forgive, but I cannot forget. Very true. You cannot forget. Because it is God who makes you to forget. How can you forget? Very correct you are. I will forgive, brother, but I cannot forget. I will not let go. Forget, no way. I will forget. Okay, I'll say, okay, bye. Okay, well, praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. But I cannot forget. Right? You cannot forget. And Joseph said, I could forget. Because God made me to forget. God made me to forget. It takes God. It takes the almighty God to help you to sever your past and take you to the future. It takes God. It's not human. It's divine. Amen. With this, let me say what the Lord said yesterday. The Lord says, I will shield or protect every Grace Revolution Gospel Church family member with their loved ones and not one will be lost. Amen. Not one will be lost. This, as he began to speak, I just, like his secretary, started writing. My job, I love uh, being a secretary to the Lord. Keep writing. I really love to be a stenographer. I take great delight. When he says I become a stenographer, Lord, please tell I'm just list writing it down. And yesterday morning, he began to say, I will shield every member of Grace Revolution Gospel Church with such the strong protection, not one, including their loved one, not one will be lost Amen. in 2020. Amen. Amen. The second thing he said is, disappointments and hurts my people are carrying, but I will heal them and give them the expected future. No! No! I will heal them and give them the expected future right now. Amen. Number three. I'm going to set them free from their past and connect them to their glorious future. This I'm going to do. And these are his voice. I don't want to add anything to that. When he speaks, I just verbatim write it and spell it out. Don't, I don't try to put my thoughts into that. These are verbatim, verbatim words. I don't want to put my thinking into that. Because when he says something, it is, its magnitude is so big. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways and my words and my, my dreams for you. Amen. Therefore, he says, leave the baggage of 2019 behind and get ready for your miracle. Amen. Leave behind. Let go your past. I'm going to give you an awesome thing which your mind cannot even comprehend. That is the kind of awesome thing God is about to do in 2020. Amen. List out. Now this is the counsel of God. List out your disappointments and declare that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. When you declare you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, when things of the past haunt you, when the disappointments hurt you, at that point you say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. When you say that, God makes you to forget. How does God make you to forget the past? When you declare, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm a new creation. Amen. At that point of time, the Lord God makes you to forget your past. Amen. Hallelujah.